We know it's very heavy, but it must be made of uh, extremely good English willow. Very heavy English willow. And there goes Excalibur into action again. Straight over the top of long off. One of the most difficult shots in the book. And umpire Tony Crafter's arms are getting heavy. And putting them above his head so often he's getting tired. And he decides he'll become a batsman and play it well. Well, John Newbury uh, is the maker of that bat, if anyone's interested. And John Newbury uh, would be very pleased to see this batting graph of Lance Cairns right now. Six sixes in this innings. Received only 15 balls. Those sixes over mid-wicket or longish uh, mid-on there or long on. He misses like that will get him into the strike rate. And uh, I suppose the most amazing six of the lot was that one over fine leg, which he finished up hitting one hand. Then the silly saw him moving back outside leg stump. Pitched the ball well outside leg stump. Caught hands unawares. And just with one hand on the bat, he woofed it about ten rows back into the outer. Advances down the track and Lily gives him, uh, I would say, a leg spinner. And everyone's laughing at the moment. Was a leg spinner and a short leg spinner. In fact, it might have been a wrong one because it missed the leg stump. It didn't spin away at all. And since Cairns was advancing down the wicket, the ball pitched short. He missed it. He couldn't get to the pitch of it. The slowness of the ball deceived him and he almost fell over in his eagerness to get at it. Cairns needs 29 balls to get into the strike rate. A good bouncer there from Lilly. And he recovers after being hit for six a couple of times in that over. New Zealand, six for 92. Great batting performance from Australia to put up that total of 302. New Zealand in all sorts of strife. As they collapse to be six for 44. Lance Cairns goes quickly through for a single. David Hooks has hit the uh, stumps from square leg and Lees is well and truly run out by a magnificent throw from David Hooks. Such are the vagaries of one day cricket when a superb piece of fielding can make what looks a comparatively easy single there very difficult. But Lees did hesitate. And that hesitation cost him his wicket as Hooks swooped on the ball and with one movement threw down the stumps at the bowler's end. So it's 7 for 92. Martin Sneddon, he's at the non-striker's end. Cairns, the man who has put the ball all cause of uh, this oval on strike. He gives himself plenty of room. That goes down... To mid on, wide of Ken McClay. And uh, Cairns is back for two. For an absolute miss hit that bounced about 10 yards inside the boundary. This missile of one of these resulted from this push to square leg. Lees hesitates, hooks in, and with only a couple of stumps to aim at, throws unerringly at the bowler's end, hitting the stump there, just sagging it back as Warren leads a good two or three metres out of his crease. Cairns now on strike. And within reach of his half century. He's been at the crease for 23 minutes. And if he gets a half century, it must have been one of the quickest half centuries of all time. The field scatter. Uh, look at that panorama. We've got all but four of this population close to the bounce. Tax, advancing on uh, Hogg. And Graham Wood is the man at fine leg. He misfields, retrieves the ball just inside the boundary. And that brings up Lance Cairns' 50. And what an incredible 50 that has been. Six sixes included in that 50 runs for Lance Cairns. 
got Lawson back on at the southern end. He's got uh, six overs to his name, three maidens, two for eight. The question remains whether those figures will remain as impressive because Rodney Hogg had six overs for eight runs and one wicket when he was hit by Cairns. He now has one for 30 off nine. Hogg, well, here's Lawson. Cairns gives himself a bit of room and hits it straight to Steve Smith at point. A slower delivery there from Jeff Lawson. And not only are his figures uh, still looking as impressive, they have been improved upon. Well, the crowd don't really know whether to be pleased or sorry. I think they're pleased in the long run as the dangerous Cairns just squeezes that out to Smith at cover. It had to come to an end. All good things come to an end. And it's been a most impressive display of hitting by Lance Cairns. Caught at cover by Smith off Lawson's first ball. So the eighth wicket is down for 150. 